Well, what can I do for you? Good day, Crypt Crawlers. I'm on silent and we're on the air with more Diablo. Episode 2 of Diablo. Thanks for tuning in. Last time out, we, uh, we got our... We got our feet kind of under us in Diablo. We explored the first level of the Labyrinth. I went back and I looked at the instruction manual. They call it the Labyrinth. So, uh, yes, that is uh, where we are. Under, we're going under the cathedral. But this is Griswold the, uh, Griswold the Blacksmith. So we want to repair specifically this cloak. So, okay, so it's going to cost 14 gold, and we have 700 gold. I think I can spare the cash. We can, we can, sp this is the good armor cap. We can just spare the three gold on that as well. We're not going to be making much use of this. So I think we have the, we can probably get rid of that as well. So I uh, just, I'm thinking in terms of selling. So we don't want to, uh. Just a moment, Mr. Griswold, because I don't think we want to fill up our backpack too much, because if we got a better cap there, you know, get rid of that. We can get rid of, like, we can get rid of the banged up saber. We have a little more cash. Whoa, what can I do for you? Lying around for us, so. My item is for sale. Let's get rid of one of the sabers. We made money back. And we'll dump the cap as well. I was going to say, um, let's say the Tristram theme, it's used in Heroes of the Storm. I know they, when they introduced uh, a bunch more, uh, some more Diablo levels and characters m a few years ago, that this was sort of the main menu theme, like mixed with the, with the HOTS theme. And this was also, I think, I don't know if it was Diablo 1 or the Diablo 2 version of the Tristram theme, that was also on an episode of Super OSW Review. Now, uh, if you're not a wrestling fan, you probably haven't heard of OSW Review. It's an old, the old school wrestling review video podcast. And they go back and look at old wrestling. They, they did like 30 episodes on the Hulkamania era. And then they did, a, you know, they did uh, WCW, the David Arquette trilogy. And then they've done ECW and they've done the Attitude Era. They did uh, Dungeon of Doom. Now they're doing New Generation WWF. So they've gone and done a whole bunch of stuff. But they also have a, uh, their one of their hosts, Jay, has a spin-off podcast, Super OSW Review, where he goes into his uh, love of video game music, including Diablo's featured on one of many episodes of Super OSW Review. It's on their uh, it's on their podcast RSS feed. But they are uploading videos of Super OSW Review on their channel page as well. So, we've done repair, we've done sell. I just want to see. Alright, so there's leather armor, which is pricey. A buckler. Now, a falchion, which is obviously a weapon of some sort. Because of strength. Oh, it's got strength. Now, that's interesting. Scimitar. So, we can't get either of those sabers. Large axe, mace, spiked club, spiked club, club. Short bow, which we've got already. A long bow. Ah. So now that is one of the interesting things, is uh, looking at the manual in between episodes, one of the things that they'd mentioned was strength was f more for melee attacks. But I find it interesting. Yeah, strength represents how strong your character is and adds to the damage your character does in melee combat, right from the manual. So I find that interesting, especially considering, so strength doesn't necessarily benefit us except that it helps us get to the next level of bow. Now, dexterity. Dexterity covers your character's agility and nimbleness. Your chance of successfully striking an opponent in combat increases with your level and dexterity. So I can't just hammer home dexterity and vitality. Vitality, you know, uh, that is, um, you know, that's your... Hit points, basically. It's uh, an indication of the overall health and fitness of your character. So, hit points. But I also got to put points in strength so that I can unlock this. I can unlock new weapons. Okay. So that is an important thing to learn before we carry on. Now, I want to talk to the healer. Pepin. I'm glad I caught up to you in time. 
Our wells have become brackish and stagnant, and some of the townspeople have become ill drinking from them. Our reserves of fresh water are quickly running dry. I believe that there is a passage that leads to the springs that serve our town. Please find what has caused this calamity, or we all will surely perish. We've got a quest. I'm pretty sure. Now, the main quest of the game is to you, Labyrinth defeat Diablo. We gotta... I'm glad I caught up to you in time. Our wells have become brackish and stagnant, and some of the townspeople have become ill drinking from them. Our reserves of fresh water are quickly running dry. I believe that there is a passage that leads to the springs that serve our town. Please find what has caused this calamity, or we all will surely perish. Now, I assume by there's a passage. What ails you, my friend? Uh, I would like to receive healing, Mr. Pepin. Oh, that's it? <laughs> Hi, heal me, and done. Now, this is probably just repeat the quest. Please, you must hurry. Every hour that passes brings us closer to having no water to drink. We cannot survive for long without your help. Okay. Before it was taken over by, well, whatever looks below, the cathedral was a place of great learning. There are many books to be found there. If you find any, you should read them all, for some may hold secrets to the workings of the labyrinth. A very handy hint, Mr. Uh, Pepin. I'm assuming, yeah, you just got potions. Potions of healing, 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 full healing, rejuvenation, 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 scroll of healing, and scrolls, those are magic based, so. Now, by passage, I do kind of wonder if it is inside the labyrinth, since most of the game's- Stand a fellow drinking peace? Nope. Since most of the stuff... Oh, maybe he has something to say about it, but let's... let's yeah. Do you drink water? Stupid question, stupid answer, right? I know you got your own ideas, and... I know you're not gonna believe this. That weapon you got there... It just ain't no good against those big brutes. Oh, I don't care what Griswold says. They can't make anything like they used to in the old days. So, it does make me wonder, what Mr. Farnham says there, whether you believe him or not, is I do wonder if that is indicative of you're going to have trouble with an enemy eventually, especially the deeper you get in, or if there are weapons to be found. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Maybe he has something to say about the positive water supply, but I was going to say maybe there's... It could also be indicative of weapons that can be found down below. We did find some sabers down there, keep in mind. Hypothetically, we could also find a better bow, hypothetically. Hmm. I don't know what I can really tell you about this that will be of any help. The water that fills our wells comes from an underground spring. I have heard of a tunnel that leads to a great lake. Perhaps they are one and the same. Unfortunately, I do not know what would cause our water supply to be tainted. One and the same. Thank you very much, Mr. Deckard Kane. Poor Farnham. He is a disquieting reminder of the doomed assembly that entered into the cathedral with Lazarus on that dark day. He escaped with his life, but his courage and much of his sanity were left in some dark pit. He finds comfort only at the bottom of his tankard nowadays, but there are occasional bits of truth buried within his constant ramblings. Just as Adria said, So, I do. Speaking of which, maybe we'll have a chat with her very fast. Just that way. She might have insight on, on the side quest. She might also have insight on general gossip, too. Then we can go back into the cathedral and see what we, we can find. But we have to go look at... I sense a soul in search of answers. Yeah, maybe. 
The people of Tristram will die if you cannot restore fresh water to their wells. Know this. Demons are at the heart of this matter, but they remain ignorant of what they have spawned. So it's almost certainly inside the labyrinth, then. The higher you place your faith in... Yeah, okay, you, you've told us that one. So therefore, it is safe to assume that if we're going to fix the water supply thing, it will involve us going back into the labyrinth. Not that I know. Shocking, right? So we'll head this way. We'll head north until... We are cut off by... That. It's a nice indicator, that. Now, the good news is... It has not... Oh, I gotta go through. Oh, I gotta go north. Okay, I knew that. It's a confusing labyrinth. Well, it's a labyrinth, of course. It's confusing. And then we gotta go... hook straight down. And that'll take us in the general vicinity... of that, which is the to level 2. That'll be... That'll be the... I was gonna say, it's not that this has... Not that the fun didn't start here, but I'm kinda interested to see where the fun begins down here. So at least we know where the way out is. At the very least, the map will build out from here. <laughs> Obviously, right? So the... Actually, I wonder if I could have just like, nope, chest, cash, bow and arrow. That thing was tougher than the la than the first level. Now it was what strength twenty five. Let's put some points in. Year. Yeah. Alright. I'm feeling okay about that. Damage 2 to 6 to hit 70. Okay. Oh. Ooh, that thing hits hard. So now we're going to have to play this a lot more defensively. I hit something. Oh, just hit it. Fallen one. Ah, so whatever I hit, the... F oh, scroll! A scroll of identify. Don't need that yet, but we do have it on hand if we need it. Nothing in there. So we are... Oh, there's only one way through there. Okay. So there appears to be multiple levels of these um, fallen ones. Oh, that was a close one. Now, dagger, cloak, very quickly, armor seven. Okay. No rest for the wicked, right? Because as soon... There's a door ahead of us. Oh, and there's a, a bookcase. Okay, so we are getting... Oh. Nice hits on some of these. No, so it is, it's, so it is feeling a little more... Oh. Got him. 
So no, this is feeling a little more familiar to what I've seen in Diablo 3, so okay. A scroll of healing. A book of healing. Ah. Now what is the difference between... Ah, I need 17 magic. In order to... In order to use the scroll of healing. And a book of holy bolt. Now, that's interesting. We can still, I believe we can still use magic as... Need more magic, though. I believe we can still use magic. Even if we aren't necessarily the sorcerer class. The trick is, is that we aren't as good at it as the sorcerer class. Ooh, okay. Got him. Pick up the dagger. Got him as well. Turn around, fire. We got one at range, at least. I'm, I wonder how much of this is. Oh, boy. Ah, there, got him, got him. In the very least, we're... Man, those guys are tough little SOBs to hit. Uh, no, at the very least, we are... This is what I want... Oh, got him from range, too. And this is what I want to do, so I, I want to... Oh, an axe. Now, where would I put this? Oh, really? There we go, see? What we might need to do... Something a little like that. Now, I, now here's one of the questions, is if I drop something... Pick up that potion of healing, because that's going to be... Nice hit, nice hit. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, what the hell are you? Puker Rat the Unclean. So we've hit a... Now, this is something I am vaguely familiar with. Every once in a while, you do run into a, a legendary enemy type. Ah, oh, let's go. I can't carry any more. So if we drop the axe. There's a club, not identified. We could always get Deckard to do that. So oh no, inventory. How are we doing on, on that though? We're getting close. Twenty three hundred more XP, so yeah, so there are occasionally legendary enemies who have their own name. They give a little better stuff, kind of like a uh, uh, puke rat or whatever the hell his name was. So now we get to continue exploring. So I wonder if the one guy that got a few hits, if he wasn't... Oh, Carver! They look like they got stabs instead of like... Little, uh, little daggers. Holy shit! That's a lot of dudes. Okay, we got a couple of fallen ones there. Gotta be careful with these fallers, or uh, carvers, sorry, rather, because they are going to be tricky. I just mean to rock a rhyme. Oh. I don't know how much of that is the dexterity and how much of that is me. 
Devilkin! That was what we had trouble with. Another one, another last guys that have hit us are both Devilkins. Or is Devilkin already in itself, of itself, a plural? I would believe it is. There we go. Another one bites the dust. Down the scavenger. Come back here! There we go. <laughs> just when I was feeling better about my aim. I just whiff on about 20 shots in a row. We'll figure it out. Keep going through the sarcophagi until we figure out... Until we kind of clean up everything. Oh, a large chest? Oh, cash is good! That's what we like to see. Oh, skeleton! Drop the skeleton, and let's try and... There we go. Get rid of that devilkin. Those are the ones that worry me. A corpse axe? Well, apparently we felled a few of them already. It said like we had 20. Keep going back to that map. Fallen 1, total kills 33. Hit points 1 to 2. Just gotta hit it. That's the trick, is you just gotta hit it. So that's a dead end. So we, we seem to have explored. At least this is probably the most northwestern point. So there's a whole south to this that we haven't looked at. There's a whole north and east part of this that we haven't gone to. And I would imagine that this part of the level will be considerably larger than level one. And then it's just going to get bigger and harder as we go along. So no matter... So no matter sort of what I'm getting into, I think that business is going to... we got to go south. Uh, oh, let's get some of these sarcophagi out. There we go, got him. Nope. Well, that was a nice try. Nope. And we got to level up. That's what I like to hear. So we do get some health back for a, for a level up. Okay, and then we gotta go through there and... Oh! And then it comes back around. Okay. So I might want to try going back north. Not that I have a problem with going this way, but this way it does appear to be... I think the farther south I go, I think the farther... The closer I am getting to... Oh, wait, that's it. Guy, that guy was a uh, different sort of enemy. Uh, blade skin the slasher. Now, I don't remember all my rarities here. So I'm going to apologize for that. A now, where would I put this? Now, I believe a buckler is a shield. Well. Nope. That thing... Oh, got him. I have no room. Okay, well, hang on a second, darling. Hmm. We don't need all these daggers. So maybe, let's, uh, what if we go back to... Uh, drop the inventory. Back into here. Actually, what if we go... What if we can go back around to the stairwell? 
What if we can dump at the stairwell? Because we gotta go by there again. That would probably be the exact right place to throw stuff. So if we drop that there. And we drop some of these daggers there. We rearrange that to there. Okay, I think that... And if we get a, the right armor... I wonder if there's a way to buy more space in your inventory as well. That might... That would be, uh, that would be handy as well. Now it's a matter of making sure that I don't forget... Quilted armor, that's exactly what I was looking for. Not identified. I wonder if I have to identify. Oh no, I have to go scroll of identify. Plus nine to magic. Armor of the mind. Ah, now suddenly these aren't, these have gone gray, so I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Oh, it doesn't tell me because I got all this covered up. So I need to hit a point in strength. I want to hit a point in vitality. Strength, dexterity, and magic. All right. Okay, so with this, we're at 26 magic. So I don't, un I, I'm going to have to look into how the, how the books work. Now where would I put this? Okay, there's nowhere for the cape yet, but... So that's... Uh, I, I feel as though inventory management could be uh, a not insignificant part of the goings-on in this game, which seems annoying, especially when you can't just quit a fast travel in and out. Drop that there. Slide that across. Put those there. Carry on. I want to go northwards. Yeah, because we've hit the north extremities there. All right. Nobody said efficiency was a uh, prime part of the planning there. Potion of full mana. Which, if we've got these books and this magic. Not gonna do much with that cape, are we? Oh no, maybe we did pick up the cape. And these things are. I don't know if they're hitting me or. Maybe they are. Oh, book I of can't carry any more. Really? Oh no, I can't. Hmm. I can't rotate it. I've got a book of healing, so I mean, that's a thing for now. A scroll of Identify, which we can pick up. Get that carver. Oh. That sounds like trouble coming from this direction. Now, that's not good. Except for the par oh. I'm just trying to put a few shots on these devil kin. We get a little more damage to man I'm, I'm two to six, it's not exactly. I don't think there's anything more in here except for... I don't think there's anything more in there except for just those dudes. We got them out. 
So that's okay. So that's the thing. Inventory slow. And I don't know how to. Oh no! Middle mouse button doesn't do anything. Right, right, right. Tab doesn't do anything. Okay, okay. I'll have to see. Yeah, I have to take a look at the manual just to see if there's a inventory management that we can do with, you know, as if we can rotate, rotate sort of thing. Maybe we can make. Maybe we can make it work. This is a uh, different problem for a different time. Okay. So let's just uh, go back to the map for a moment. So yeah, this all here. So we've taken part of care of the north part of it. But it's now down to the south. That's where we need to go next. Because there is... Yeah. Because nothing... Yeah, we're out of... Um, We are definitely out of uh, options this way. Now where would I put this? Yes, I know we're out of room. I'll fix it, I just... Let me just get the damn cash here. Take him from range. Uh, sarcophagus! Okay. Oh, he dropped a book of charge bolt. It sounds like something I used. Use used. Oh. I'm pick up a uh, Diablo Trace. Trey. Trois. I know that one. No, it's Trace. I was. I was right the first time. Have to go back to Aladdin for that. Uno, dos, tres. If I remember, Robin Williams is the genie, right? I, I've not seen, before anyone asks, no, I haven't seen the new Aladdin with uh, Will Smith and company. It does make you wonder. Like, I assume if Robin Williams was still alive, there, there's no way that... Man, this thing, that's a... He, he's tough even by Devilkin's standards. I assume if... if for, Oh, we are... Oh, we are running low on durability on that, that bow. And that's not good. I've been hammering away on that... On that button. And if that bow goes, we're, we're, we're gone with it. firing a lot of shots. Now, I don't know how much of it's like getting in close quarters with these dudes. Yeah, okay, that's getting serious now. It's down to two. I think that means we gotta retreat and get Griswold to look at the damn, uh, Look at the damn bow and take care of it, and then we can see what we can do with all, with all these daggers and such. Now the problem is, is Diablo three. One of the nice things you got a chest where you can just dump stuff, right? And I don't know if there is an equivalent like storage, other than just leave it on the ground and come back and pick it up later. Hopefully, come back and pick it up later. It's maybe a better way of putting it. But yeah, we're not going to last long. Without a bow. So we gotta... Head back for the hills. Unfortunately, we couldn't make any progress on that side quest. Because we don't have... Yeah, alright, we're going in the right direction. Go through it once. You're fine. Uh, no, it's interesting because it's like, you know, you've got enough inventory room and such that you can make a, like a, 
in this case, like you've got about you know a twenty-ish minute run through, a uh, twenty-ish minute run through the uh, through the labyrinth. But I get the feeling it's going to be a lot of like go in, try and make progress. What ails you, my friend? Ah, uh, demons. I have made a very interesting discovery. Unlike us, the creatures in the labyrinth can heal themselves without the aid of potions or magic. If you hurt one of the monsters, make sure it is dead, or it very well may regenerate itself. Now you will excuse me, Pepin, if that... Uh, I'm assuming Pepin and not Pepe. A little more French pronunciation. I, I, Mr. Pepin will excuse me if I don't find that uh, incredibly concerning. Considering the possibility that, you know, if I do something, you know, if something like that happens, that, like, hmm. I know, I'd find it concerning, just if only because. It's like, oh, does that mean stuff could come back to life? Even after I'm done with it. Whoa! What can I do for you? Uh, we need you to repair. Oh wow, that's a... A lot of cash and an armor to mind. Um... I don't want you to worry about the club or the mace. It's the short bow that I want you to do for 46. Thank you very much. Not worried about the rest of it, but uh, actually, no, I'm, not, I'm I lie. So armor of the mind, that's my best armor right now. So, but hence, but because it's a special armor, it's a blue. It's got that blue text. I, it's gonna cost a premium. Now, uh, there, and I guess as such, so. Oh, so premium items. Some white bow of skill. Resist magic plus 12, plus 9 dexterity. Not a lot of damage, but... Extra dexterity means you're going to hit more likely than not. Rags of craftsmanship. High durability. Okay. And yet it's only got 10 on durability. Hmm. Now, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder... It's interesting. The club, being a special item, it's only five. Do we have to identify that club? Uh, all right. So maybe we'll fit find Deckard then. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Could you ident? Oh, I gotta pay you to identify it. Ah. So that is why we have scrolls of identify. So we don't have to spend the money. Sure, for just for shits and giggles, let's drop the hundred bones on this. Club of the Sky plus two to all attributes. Now remember, we were going to sell it for a whopping five dollar edus. Whoa! What can I do for you? Ah, now there's investment. So it went from five to six twenty-five. All four of hundred dollar investment. So. Actually, you come out ahead by $525 when you sell that. Because I'm playing a bow-based class. I'm playing ranged class. So I don't think Club of the Sky is really something I'm going to be too particularly interested in. So, yeah, something like that. That's just pure, pure profit right there. I, I just, I can, 1776. There. The Americans in the comments... The Yankees in the comments were about to say, Steve, you did it wrong. No, Steve did it right. Because the spirit of 76. Hmm. Let's go. <laughs> There's a get out of jail free card if I ever found one. Yeah, and we were just dropping shit left, right, and center. Um, Let's go back to the... Oh, we can't access the inventory. Okay. So we can sell the cape because that's not good. it's not nearly as good as the cloak. 
Now I want to read the manual about these. We can sell dagger. We can sit. We can sell that. We can sell that. Yeah. Whoa! What can I do for you? So we can sell the cape for two smackerinos. And it was the dagger. Was the other one I wanted to jettison. 1793. I'm waiting for us to find our way to 1867 on this one, but I don't think I can get there today. Whoa! What can I do for you? Anything to chat about? If you're looking for a good weapon, let me show this to you. Take your basic blunt weapon, such as a mace. Works like a charm against most of those undying horrors down there, and there's nothing better to shatter skinny little skeletons! Yes, but what if I'm up against something a little tougher than skinny little skeletons? Just out of curiosity, Griswold. Ah, oh, well. Yeah, that'll, uh, oh, let's talk to Farnham before we go. Just one more uh, quick chat with uh, Mr. Farnham in case he has something important to say. Can't a fellow drink in peace? No, uh, since he scared the crap out of me the last time. Kane isn't what he says he is. Sure, sure. He talks a good story. Some of them are real scary. <laughs> or funny. But I think he knows more than he knows he knows. Uh, I realize that is a, a little bit drunk. A lot of bit drunk. But, um... I think what... Farnham is trying to say is that that Kane knows more than he lets on. Not that he knows more than he knows he knows. Maybe he does know more than he knows he knows. But maybe he knows more than he lets on that he knows. Now, I, I'm fairly con... Well, I shouldn't say I'm fairly confident. If this was Diablo 3, I would be fairly confident in my statement. But this is Diablo 1. And I'm not confident in that statement, because I don't know yet. Ooh, exciting. All right. Let's call it a day there for Diablo 1. More, uh... More Diablo fun and frivolity to come next time on Diablo. But until then, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is unsilent on air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget, you can check out more Diablo in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below. And more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.